Hey, how's it going? Today, we have a lot to get done. So, some of the stuff on the list I wouldn't mind doing. Heading back to the Redwoods. Want to check on the sap tap that we got set up. Grab anything that's already produced. And kind of make sure that it is working. I want to go ahead and get stuff ready for a Maywing team. So, there's the S versions down in the Aberration Cave down below. The only thing that we're really missing to make that a viable team is a net launcher and some nets. So, I wouldn't mind getting some of that stuff together. Now, I know, I know you guys are saying using billboards and all this weird stuff for trapping and taming it. I don't like doing that. I don't want to use that kind of stuff. It's just, it's not an intended mechanic. So, main thing we'll need for that is going to be a harpoon launcher, which I think we can make in here. We can. And we're going to need some obsidian, and it's a lot of polymer. So, here's the thing. We're not making a fabricator if we can help it on this map. If we do, it's going to be just for maybe a gas mask if we need to make one. You know, stuff that kind of requires us to progress. But we're not making normal polymer, so we have to farm up some organic. And there's a Hesperonis right over there by our old base. I saw a couple of them when I was dismantling everything in between the last video and this one. So one of the things that is supposed to be able to harvest that stuff very well is a sword. I mean, we don't have the other things, right? There's some other creatures that work and stuff like that. So let's make one of these. We'll take that with us. Let's go ahead and repair this. Repair you. And then I do want to do a little bit of work here at base today. So, this right here. I want to take that, maybe put it in the corner over here at an angle, and set another one of the forges up because we got quite a bit of metal smelting. The thing is, man, this gold ore takes forever to smelt, which is fine. I mean, it should take a while, right? It's kind of condensed, everything like that. But it's just, it's, it's going kind of slow, right? We're, I'm wanting to get some flak and stuff made up if we can, which we don't have enough metal. Take care of him, buddy. Take care of him. Don't let him munch on you like that. Hey, what? I thought we would have a nice, calm day today. I didn't see any creatures the whole time in between last video and this one. It's kind of like the one that we had that got killed off. <laughs> Dude, I tell you what, it was a level 92, buddy. I know, man. You're on. You're on passive. Let's put you on neutral. Just don't run off. If I hop off of you, don't run off, man. That's the only thing I ask. And then, as far as this, I know that there is the walls in the Vikings mod pack. We might put some of those up. It's definitely tall enough to keep Rex out because Rex do spawn up there and come down. I don't know. I don't know how long we're going to be here, but what we might end up doing is coming out from here. Kind of come out. Maybe come down this way a little bit and kind of just totally enclose our vegetables and that'll be kind of like our yard. We'll see. I don't know if we'll do that today because that is a lot of harvesting and getting ready and stuff like that. Let's grab. Do we have everything? We got the sword. We've got that. And then, one final thing I definitely want to do is, you guys also left me some comments about our gate. So we had a lot of problems trying to get in and out of this, right? That's why we have the door over there. Some comments said about putting a, a gateway up here. They're just too big, man. It would look way too weird. However, totally forgot about the dynamic ones. So we'll try to make one of these. It's kind of a late game item. I mean, kind of what I consider a late game because it requires silica pearls and vegetables. <laughs> However... We have vegetables here, and we've got a couple silica pearls. I think we've got 10 or so. I forget where we got them from. Yeah, right there. There is some down where we're going to go get obsidian. So there's the Hesperonis over here in the little lake up top where we were at. And I think there might be some down below. There is obsidian down there. So I want to jump down there, grab the two or three nodes of obsidian, and that way it's got a chance to respawn, you know? Couldn't kill this guy off. Just so we don't have problems. Yeah, don't go running now, man. We do have those couple beavers that are in the trap. Well, one's in the trap and one's by the trap. I don't know if we'll tame them. I was kind of thinking about doing it just to have like little guard dogs around base. And then that way if we lose ours, we've already got another one tamed up. They are all females, so we cannot do any breeding with them at all. And then we got this here too. These did respawn right here. These up here are not. So it might be because our base is too close. I'm not too sure. None of this has respawned. And we picked these before we pick those. We don't need any specific vegetables, I don't think, for taming. It's mainly just having vegetables, period, right? So we're good, we're good. We'll take that with us. So, first things first, we'll put a point into you. The berries are fine. The berries should be fine. Put that in there for weight reasons. Let's go up here on top by where our base was. Try to kill off those couple birds. See how much polymer we get. We need 30 for the harpoon launcher. I think nets are for each. They are, so it's it's kind of expensive. However, we only need one net. <laughs> I say that like I'm confident that I can actually knock it out in one try. 
We need at least one net. I guess that's what I should say. So as long as we can get one or two of those made before we go down, that'll be fine. And I want to get that tamed up as soon as possible. We good over here? Should be calm. There was nothing over here other than a couple scorpions whenever I was breaking down our old base. Well, answers that question pretty quick. So we should have piranhas in the water. I wonder what level those wolves are. Those are the R versions. Can we get out over here? I don't want to drag them over by the Hesperonis. I want to be able to tame those guys. Let's drag them. Ah, where can we drag them? I want to... I want to go down here to get our obsidian and stuff. I'll tell you what, that Bronto... Or not Bronto, I keep calling it a Bronto. That Bracky is down here. I wonder if he'll kill him off. Oh, dude, do not bite me! That's a 140. Okay, okay, please land in water. We're good, we're good. They followed us. Fantastic. Let's drag them. Where's the Bracky? See, there's the obsidian. Obsidian right there behind us. There's three of them. I'm gonna tell you what, we, <laughs> we picked the worst place to live. That's a 15. That's a 140. Where's the other one? And that's a 15. We should probably just kill them off. I know, I know. We're underwater. We don't have an air tank. Let's get rid of the low level ones so they don't have that bonus anymore. Yep, you guys are gonna probably drown, right? No stamina? Sucks, doesn't it? So, there is a swamp cave. I'm not exactly sure what we'll do about that. We're gonna need a gas mask. Like I said, if it comes to the point where we need a fabricator for something, we'll build it just for the one item. So, we'll we'll see, man. We'll see. We'll kind of get to that point when we get to it. We got a lot to do in between now and then. See how much we die and stuff. Now there's four wolves. And we're suffocating. Try to drag them up here and get them over here by this Bracky. Get some aggro on him. They will probably get stomped on. Yep, there we go. There we go. We got a raptor down here. Fantastic. Everything in the world. I don't see any of the Hesperonics down here, though. Junior, I'm bringing you some lunch, man. Please kill them off so I don't become lunch. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I want to do. Will they attack the Bracky? Or is that too big of a creature? Tell you what, let's do this. We're gonna make him mad. That's what we want. Get angry. Yep. Maybe he will start stomping on the wolves and stuff. Don't get caught. Don't get caught. Don't get caught! I should just leave him in. I should just leave him. It'll be fine. Let's get over here, grab a little bit of obsidian, and we'll get out of here. I think they'll... Probably try to attack him, and then he'll kill him off. There is one of the birds! Okay, we need to kill off the piranhas, too. We get the polymer from that guy. There is, I think, down over there, I saw some of the clams whenever I was crawling out the first time. Why are you still over here? So that is a place we can get some silica pearls as well. You know what? I think there's too much going on down here right now. Maybe we will totally just leave the area. I don't want to waste all of our all of our darts or our arrows trying to kill these guys off. Let's do that, man. We'll come back for the obsidian. That's the last thing that we'll need. However, let's try to kill you off real quick. Can we turn? Can we turn? There we go. Might be too far on the ground. Ah, oh, dude, it's super hard because he's he's always got to be swimming. Yep, turn around. Turn around, buddy! We are having problems here. We're stuck on a rock. I <laughs> hit everywhere around him. Okay, there we go. Ah, oh, you know what? We need to kill the piranhas off first. Because they're going to eat the carcass, right? Oh, please don't eat the bird! Focus on me, focus on me. We're fine, we're fine. Two more, we'll be good. Okay, we good? We alright for a second? I just need one minute. Alright. Let's do this. One! We got one! That is it! I thought a sword was supposed to get quite a bit! While we're here, might as well grab the fish meat. Just saying. I think you get more with a... With a pick, right? Don't you usually get three or four? Oh, dude, this is not gonna work. Oh, that is not gonna work! I'm gonna be farming those birds for days if that's the case. Let's try to grab our polymer one more time. I mean, the, uh, obsidian. 
And then if anything, we'll go up and try to kill some of the birds up there. Maybe we'll use the... Is that wolf still there? We'll use the pick next time. It's at level 15. That's fine. We'll kill him off with this guy. Give us some good levels. It's an R version, too. Doing a ton of damage to us. It's alright. It's alright. How'd that work out for you? Let's keep you on passive, man. I don't want you taking a little bit of damage and running from me, and then I'm... <laughs> I'm stuck dealing with stuff on foot. So we definitely have enough of the obsidian. Let's drop the metal. We'll put that into you for safekeeping. That's all fine. Let's do... Let's do damage. That's not going to last long at all. Ah, oh, dude, it spoils so fast, man. I don't think this is going to be a good way. We need to see if there's any of the polymer plants, I think. To be able to get our polymer and stuff. Ah, that's fine, that's fine. Let's leave the Hesperonis for right now. I don't want to kill them off and then have all of our organic polymer spoil. Seems how we're only getting one per. I don't know, that seems broken, man. Seems wrong. But yeah, there's the other pearls right there. So we can grab those whenever we need them. I don't want to grab too many now. We don't need them for too much. Well, I'll tell you what. While we're here, let's grab a few. That'll work. Now we definitely have enough for our gate, right? Totally forgot there's a Spino somewhere over here, too. Yep, yep. Rex down there. You guys having problems? I'm going this way. <laughs> oh, there's some oil. I mean, while we're here, I need to put you on follow. That way you don't go floating up, man. Let's grab a little bit of this oil. I don't know what we'll need it for. Maybe make some jerky. Awesome looking area under here, though. Kind of creepy looking how you can't see out very far. <laughs> Just saying, man. It's not safe. There we go. 26. It's not much, but every little bit helps, right? Cool. Let's head up. We will... Let's go ahead and just check on the Redwoods real quick. And then we'll head back. We'll start building on the dynamic gateway. And I want to see about possibly taming that otter. Depends on what level it is. Ah, oh, man. I'm so so worried about taming anything small like that because we keep, <laughs> we keep having issues with not staying alive very long. I don't want the little guy to get killed off. But we'll see, man. We'll see. Wouldn't mind making at least some hide armor. And if we have enough metal smelted up, we'll go ahead and make some flak. I'll probably prioritize making flak as soon as we get enough metal regardless. It's a 55. Oh, dude, there's a Pego! Please do not steal anything, man! Replace everything so many times. And we're only like five, five videos into this series. At least it's nice and quiet over here. For a change, man. Yeah, let's go ahead and get up here. We'll take Junior with us. I don't want to leave him down here. And let's see about a little bit of sap. Hopefully there's some. Sometimes you got to be in range for it to actually produce it. Oh, we do! We got 20! Cool, we'll take that with us. There's a Thyla! Level 15, low level. Okay, okay. I do like how they're on the ground and not in the trees. Oh, dude. Yep, you guys having a bad day down there, huh? That's a party I do not want to be invited to. Just saying. Bunch of terror birds, too. Totally forgot you were on follow. So, at least this is working. So that's a good sign. We'll come back here, grab some more, too. There's another Rex. Level 25, okay. Tell you what, let's take a loop around. So our base is... Right over that way. Let's loop around the mountain this way. Do a little bit of an exploring, man. See what's around. Hopefully not lose anybody. If anything, I will jump off and pick up the beaver. That way, he'll be safe in our inventory. <laughs> I say that like it's actually going to happen that way. But... Ah, dude, there's another Rex. I'm guessing he's fighting a Thyla, seeing how there's that bleed effect going on. What is that? Is that another Bracky? It's a Berserker one! 135! We are not... Oh yeah, we are not gonna fight you. You look fantastic! I think that's one of the other bosses like that... That Rex one that we saw? What level are you speaking of, Rex? 95, okay. Dude, that is awesome. There's supposed to be very, very good loot in them. However, you saw what happened with that Berserker one. The, uh, the Rex. Has he got mushrooms growing on his back? He does. <laughs> Little dude, he must have been around a while. That is going to be a pain to fight. That is not far from base either. So we've got the Rex one that spawned in. And we've got that one over here too. It's kind of cool, man. 
hair fine, but kind of cool. I definitely want to find a Ravager. I think that's going to be kind of the main mount. <gasps> There's a Saber. 135. Oh, dude, I don't want to kill you off. I don't have any taming food. We're doing all right with our, our beaver now. He's doing a 113. What's more in the damage? I think the damage will kind of keep him alive a little bit more now. Let's drop some of this extra weight, too. That'll be fine. We'll keep all this stuff. I definitely want to keep the the darts that are already made. Ah, uh, some more Smilodons. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's, um... It's another Rex. Dude, it is so dangerous around here. That's fine. It's fine. We're going to keep going. Let's see if we can outrun the Smilodon. We can't outrun the Smilodon. Okay, we got a Rex, too. Or not a Rex, but a Saber. I don't want to stop to get the hide. I should, though, because I don't have any other way to get hide and stuff. I think that's going to be next on the list. Seems how I don't think we can get the Maywing right away. I mean, we could build a trap for the Maywing. Possibly, like a normal one. Kind of try to lure it in. I don't know. We'll have to see. Where is... Did he eat the other body? I think he did. I think we need to get a... Either a Raptor or a Saber or Smilodon. Just so we have a Meat Eater that's going to be... <laughs> a little bit easier to heal up whenever he takes damage. Yeah, see, we're already down, man. We're already halfway on our health. Cool. Well, I'm going to head around this way. We'll see what we can find. We see a Carno. He's up there on the mountainside. Terrifying. Terrifying sound, man. I don't know if you can hear that. that <laughs> there's a Rex nearby. So the good news is... <gasps> that's a Yudi. We are not going that way. We are going back the safe way. I am not dealing with Yudis. We will explore later. I would like to keep our stuff. But there are no Gigas on this map either. It's kind of a nice thing. At least we don't have to worry about those. I mean, we got everything else in the world to worry about. But at least there's no Gigas. And there's another... Another Rex. He looks awesome. Look at the colors of the guy. And there's a tech one, too. And we got raptors. Okay, look. Coming up the mountain was not a good idea. Let's head down. Let's head down. That's a nice... That's a nice tech Rex, though. I don't want to have to get any big creatures. It's a level 60. I don't want any big creatures on this map. But I'm starting to think we might... <laughs> we might need to get some. Yep. Gonna run around this way. Maybe he'll kite off the side. It's a little beaver that could. Awesome colors on that guy, man. With the blue, yellow, and kind of like the black. So this should be right above base, I think. Right? If so, we'll just jump down into the water and be there. Oh, he made it back up! I thought he would have got stuck. That's good, man. Kite the Rex over towards base. It'll be fine. Okay. Take it easy! Oh, please take it easy! It is right over by base. Yep, easy. Okay. We'll get in the water. We'll drag him down here, too, man. Everything in the world's getting drugged down there. Swing it wide, swing it wide. Please do not bite me. I know. Oh, please don't push me off either. I wanted to try to get you stuck. Okay. Not gonna work. Junior! <laughs> I brought you another friend, man. Right back where we started. Wolves are still here. The Rex didn't come down. Did he get stuck on the... He got stuck up there. We're going to have to kite him off eventually because he's going to come down here. Or going to come over by where our base is, you know? All right, let me head up one more time. We'll start making that dynamic gateway and maybe start making a wall or see about taming that that otter, man. Ah, we're going to have to make a wall for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive of it, man. So much stuff around. There's a lot going on back there with the Dillos. Holy crap, dude. Had to go the long way around. But we are back at base. I haven't seen any more creatures up here, and there is another beaver dam. I tell you what, while we're heading back to base, let's stop over here. I saw it in editing. <laughs> People left me comments. I ran right past another one of the beaver dams whenever we were over here looking in the last video. It would have made life a lot easier because I used a lot of our chitin to make up some more cement paste when we were trying to get everything sorted out. So let's grab that real quick. See if our otter's still over here. So we can see if that's even a possibility of taming. Oh, they already respawned here too. Well, let's do this. Oh, that's where we got the pearls from. Totally forgot about that. Yep. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Oh, we fell off. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Might not be fine. Might not be fine. All right, buddy. We're good. We gotta work. We gotta work on your swimming, man. Help me help you. Right up here is the other one. It's like right by a tree. Totally missed it, man. Not sure how. We literally ran right by it. This guy right here. You know what? We'll just head back to base and drag all these guys into the trap. 
Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're gonna just keep running. We'll be fine. Got the whole family on us. It's only three. I should have destroyed that. <laughs> that trap for sure. Or not the trap, but the beaver dam. It's fine, man. We'll, we'll get it later. That way it can respawn. Two, four. We got five of them. At least they respawn very fast. That's gonna help out with our cement pace issue because we are totally out of everything. So I'm not seeing them following me. Doesn't mean they're not. We've learned that before. They usually do. I was gonna just drag them all into the trap and kill them off and grab the resources. I don't know, man. That makes me really, really sketched out about them. How they don't always follow you. Anyways, we got other stuff to do today. Top off of you. Let's grab all of our stuff. We got a lot we need to trash. Let's pick you up, man, just in case. Yep, I don't know, man. I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Totally fine with that. So let's uh let's get this sorted out real quick. Pick you up. Move you over. We got a lot of stuff I need to trash out of my inventory. I think right there I'll be fine. Then let's do all of these. Wait, not the obsidian. <laughs> don't need that in there. I need to make some more of the spark powder too here soon. Just so that we don't run out. And we got 20 on the, the sap too, so it's not too bad, man. At least we got some, you know? And this doesn't last longer, does it? It doesn't. Ah, oh, dude, that sucks, man. We're gonna lose that one piece that we had. I don't know. This whole thing about not being able to make a lot of resources definitely definitely changes how you play, right? Which is a good thing. It's a good thing. Leave all this in here. And then let's make one more of the forges. Anyway, what, let's drop this. Oh, there's the beavers. Okay, they just took a while to get over here is what it is. What level are you? We might be able to just kill you off. It's a 50. Yep. It's kind of weird. It's a weird mechanic with them. They run off and come back, and then they'll run off and come back. So I don't know. We'll, uh... Dude, I am glitching out right there every time. Alright, so we got that. Let's see about making some hide as well. I don't... Wait, how much do we have? We might have enough. That would be fantastic, just to have a little bit better armor. And seeing how it's kind of cold on this map, it will it should work out. I need to make the Viking thing, too, so I can get our skins back. The ones that I like. Yep. Hear you out there, buddy. What's up, Junior? Uh-huh. Came to pay me a visit. You ran off again. Where's your friends? I know there's multiples. It's kind of cool how that guy stayed in the trap, though. Usually whenever I leave render range on single player, if you have something trapped, it disappears. But that beaver's been there for a couple in-game days. Yep, there's everybody. The whole family's here. That's all right. At least we're safe over here until they start <laughs> attacking the door. Then we're going to have a problem. All right, we got arrows for everybody. So it seems how there is a swamp on this map. We will definitely be getting some plant species here before too long and use those for protection. I just need to figure out where the swamp is. There's supposed to be that swamp cave, so that's going to be an issue with the... Not using the fabricator. For making a gas mask. I'm thinking what we might do, just for that particular situation, is... Farm up everything we need. Throw it on the ground and just spawn a gas mask in. I don't want to build a whole fabricator because... Yep. That did not go as planned. We, uh, we'll have to worry about electricity and everything else that we won't be able to normally make. Anyways. Kill this last one off. Alright, now that that took 20,000 years, things are tanky, man. Holy crap, dude. Alright, what were we doing? Oh, that's right, we got some new armor. <laughs> nice, man. There we go. Let's uh, hide that. And then let's set out our other forge. Let's grab a little stuff from you. I do want to keep this going too to make some spark powder and whatnot here soon. So that or not spark powder, but gunpowder. That way we can go ahead and get that kind of going for a probably do. I don't know if I want to do the simple pistol or if I want to do the shotgun again. I'm thinking the the simple pistol, just because that's gonna be a little bit better on ammo. Totally forgot the wood. Let's do 200. 
Let's pull a little, little bit more into you. Nice, man. Nice. Our little base is coming together, man. It's not too bad. It's just the right size, really. And then let's make some gunpowder. Oh, we need spark powder first. Let's do 200 of you. Let that craft up while we're making this dynamic gateway. What else have we got? Berries. All right. So what vegetables do we need for this? Everything. One, two, three, four. <gasps> we're missing the... We're missing the ones right here. Right? Oh, we are! Do I have any in here? I do! <laughs> Fantastic, man! Ah, oh, dude, I was kind of getting worried there for a second. I was going to say, don't tell me. The one thing we need, we don't have. It kind of makes me worried, too, about if they're going to... Oh, wait. We do have those. What are we missing then? One, two, three, four. We got everything. We're fine. We're fine. What are you looking at? Well, I'll tell you what. Neighbors are getting nosy. It's never a good thing. So, one dynamic gateway. And then we're going to need one of these two. So, there we go. One of each. Let's go ahead and throw our vegetables back in here. So, that's the other thing, too. When it rains, it's. Wait, are we considered in a building now? Oh, we are! Whenever I was farming off camera, in between the last video and this one, it wasn't considering this to be in a building. Eat all these. It'll be fine. So, let's see. I think what we're going to do is try to just span it on the other sides of these. Right? Let's do this. We'll set it in the middle. That's somewhat centered. A little bit. All right, and then you got to give me a minute. I don't ever mess with these too much. I don't want the thickness. I want to want to change it. Do I have to do that while I'm putting it down? Oh, I do. All right, let's do width will be. I mean, that'll kind of work right there, right? That's right up against the building, so it should be fine. And then... Height. Let's go ahead and get that set up a little bit. That's going to be this one. And then we've got a different material. So we've got wood. Let's do it stone. It'll kind of match. Now, I think this is still going to be... Is it going to be actual stone, or is it going to be wood that looks like stone? Doesn't really matter. Ah, oh, dude, that's going to be fantastic, man! It'd be kind of neat if we could put it in the thing, but we can't. So, what do we need to finish crafting? So we need a little bit of stone. I'll tell you what, we got everything. So we need stone, wood, thatch. Okay, let's grab everything out of here. I don't know how much it was of each, but that should be enough. Nice, man, nice! So what we'll do is we'll keep this out here, probably, and just get rid of this. I don't know, maybe we'll get rid of this whole little deck, because I think that's affecting that growing. So we can hide this now. We can change the thickness. I don't think we will. All right, let's get rid of that, and then let's do... Well, let's pick these up. We'll move these. Is that going to be... Is that setting on the ground? I think it is. Let's, let's pick this stuff up. Well, wanted to pick it up, not demolish. And we'll put some stairs out here instead. All right, let's do our doorway. We'll do stone as well. Nice, man. Nice. Oh, that is perfect. Now, can we get in and out? We can. Let's turn this off just so that... Let's do auto-close only. <laughs> oh, man, I like it. Oh, that is fantastic. So now we have our good doorway. We don't have to worry about that stuff. Maybe these will respawn. If it does, oh, man, that'll be so nice. Go ahead and fix this. Put you down on one. 
I have been leaving these for the auto on and off. It's just nice because during the day, I tell you what, man, it gets so loud with these torches. I know it doesn't seem like it, but my headphones are really, really sensitive. It kind of works, man. It kind of fits it too, right? Seems how it's kind of like a little, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like a little crypt, man, going to the side of the thing. And then it closes. Oh, dude, it looks good from in here too, right? Because it looks like the doorway. Oh, man, I like it. I like it. Let's leave all this. Save it for later. All right, so we've got... Where are we at in life? Let's check on this. So we got enough for 200 of those. Let's see about a simple pistol. I think we're going to do the pistol. Or should we do a long neck? Nah, the pistol will be faster. The long neck... What do we need for darts? It might be easier for taming. I'm kind of wanting something to keep us alive, though. Hey, well, let's do this. Let's try to get a long neck made. And then we'll try to... We'll just try to snipe stuff, right? If we have to, until we can get enough stuff together for... Oh, well, let's see. We can do the simple pistol. We can't. We're still missing some metal. So that's... The thing, we need the metal for making ammo too, right? Alright, let's give this a few minutes. We'll let that craft up, and then how are we doing? We've got a little bit. That's still smelting. Let's see if we can get some of this ammo made. Can we not pull any of it? Still missing a lot of gunpowder. All right, give me a few minutes. We'll let this craft up. Is it nighttime? It is getting towards evening time. I don't want to be. <laughs> I don't want to be outside at the nighttime. That's a nice red drop up there. We got the blue one over there too. While that's crafting, I think I'm gonna head over there try to grab that drop, man. We're trying to get some good stuff, and then let's leave our long neck here just because we don't have any ammo for it, and I do not want to lose it. So here's the thing. One of two things will happen. One, I'll see you over there at the drop. And we'll see what we got. Two, I will see you over there near the drop if something bad happens. <laughs> or I'll see you here in the morning. And we'll take a look and try to get some ammo made up and probably some darts. I don't know. I'm really thinking about taming the beavers and just taking a whole beaver pack with me. Be kind of neat, man. Never done that before. And seems how we got the cement paste for making some more of their saddles. It might be, might be something to do. Never know. So there's actually two drops over here. One's up here. Kind of on this little cliff, and the other one's down below on the beach. We'll grab this one. I want to grab a little bit more metal, seeing how we're right here, and take that back with us. Throw it into the forges to let that keep smelting up, and then we'll jump down and grab that one. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them over there. Dude, there's a ton of drops out here tonight. I was going to say we kind of need a bird so we can fly around and grab them all, but no flyers on this map. Yep, bunch of junk in this one. So the boss stuff that you saw there was just placeholders. I think he has the normal bosses from the island just for until he gets the other ones made. I don't know if they can have new ones for this map or not, or what the deal is, but that's kind of the, uh, kind of what he has set up for it now. Let's grab a little bit of this. It is getting super dark out. I don't want to grab too much because we will get overweight. I just want enough to throw into the thing. And I think that these replace the regular metal nodes, right? I haven't seen any of those on this map. All I've seen is those, which is kind of cool and kind of, I was worried if these were going to be a limited amount. You know? Or if they would respawn, because the ones over by our base that I farmed up have not respawned yet, so I was kind of worried. Anyways, we got enough of this. That'll smelt up for a little bit. Let's go down and try to get this other drop. Oh, it's just now coming down, too. I didn't realize that. At least it won't disappear by the time we get down there. Everybody alright down here? We calm? No Rexes, no Pegos, nothing like that? No Raptors? That's a good blueprint. Very nice blueprint. But yeah, here's the bosses, man. We got the Broodmother, and then we need... Oh, what is this? Gem of the Broodmother. Gem of the Dragon. Oh, do we need a Giga Heart? Wait, how's that going to work out? I thought there was no Gigas on this map. Interesting. And that one's a Gem of the Gorilla. Huh. Okay. We'll have to look up and see what's up with the Alphas. Maybe it's not meant to be played yet with that, too. That might be why it's still that got that placeholder. Ah, uh, dude, there's that Rex, too. The Dinotheriums are down here as well. The 95. Okay. 
Thing is, that's where we need to go up at. I'm not gonna double back. It's way too far to go that way. And there's a lot of pegos between here and the other way to get up. I mean, that's fine. I want to try to see if we can see any raptors along the way. But it is nighttime. I will see you back at base. We'll try to get our ammo made up. And maybe we'll save taming for the next video. Trying to grab either... Either the otter... I don't know, man. I really want a shoulder pet. Or try to grab a raptor or a saber. You know, it's low level. But we do have the vegetables at base. That would be fantastic for running around and... Exploring. We could also use that maybe on the Maywings for inflicting torpor. You know, I mean, the Maywing would still run whenever we kick it. But it inflicts a lot of torpor. We wouldn't have to worry about trying to use darts and stuff on it, right? I don't know. We'll have to see. Maybe we'll aim for that. That'd be a fantastic, man. I definitely want to do some exploring, man. We've been five videos in and we're still in this one little area. I mean, <laughs> we keep pretty much getting reset. What is that? Oh, that's a volcano area. That looks fantastic. Oh, dude, that looks fantastic. Yeah, I think that's a plan. We'll try to get us a horse in the next video and do some exploring for sure. We got to, man. We got to. It's 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 needed. It'll definitely help out getting drops too, right? Being able to run around on that and outrun everything. All right, it is morning time. Let's see about our gunpowder situation before we go. I think I have 300 made up. Yeah, that last little bit's making up, so we should be able to get a good bit of ammo. Oh, that's right. That's the problem. I keep wondering why it's not pulling from here, but whenever that's crafting, you can't actually pull from that location. Does it do the same thing with the metal? It does. Let's just do it this way. I know we don't have very much metal, but we should have enough to make a couple of the bullets. Let's make... We can make 20. Let's do... Let's do 10. I think it makes two per, right? It does. And then we can make some darts, too. I think we got enough of the... Narcotics. Where's it at? This... <laughs> this pole, man! It's in a very bad spot. So let's go ahead and just take you. We'll start keeping you with us. There's some more metal there. Oh, wait. We're, we're in the smithy. Never mind. Oh, I'll tell you what. It happens sometimes, man. It happens. Go ahead and just put you down here. We got that. I thought I had some narcotics somewhere. Do I not? But I put them in here on accident. Where is a stack of narco buckets that I had? Did I lose them? I got the beaver on me, so it's not... I had to have left them somewhere. Dude, I had quite a few of those things, man. I mean, while we're talking, let's go and do that. I can't believe I lost that whole whole stack. I think it was like 50 or, or so of them. Not in here. We might as well go ahead and take that and start splitting meat. Let it spoil if I lost that whole thing. Oh, that kind of sucks. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. We can always get more with the beaver and stuff. I'll have to do a bunch of farming. I can't believe I lost that whole stack, though. Say, well, we'll just keep those in our inventory. And how much damage is this going to do? It's been a long time since I've used a primitive one. Let's find a little Dillo. 588. So that's a lot better than the arrows. So that's not too bad. We need to pick stuff off at range, I think. That was a headshot, too. I think that's why I did so much. I mean, it'll work out. It'll definitely help out. We use this mainly for taming and stuff. If I can find our... <laughs> our stuff. Oh, man, I can't believe I lost that stack. I think it was, like I said, around 50 or so. 50 or 60 of the narco buckets. Well, not too bad of a day. We got us some hide armor. We got us a long neck. I'll go ahead and farm up some more berries and stuff. Dude, there's wolves up there on the hill, man. Next video, we will be building a fence. <laughs> I think we'll build some of the walls. We'll do a little bit of taming. Like I said, I'll try to get some stuff farmed up with the beaver. Get some of that made and some darts. Uh, we got to get something, man. We need to get either a saber, a smilodon. I don't want a wolf. Not a fan of them. So one of those two things or a high-level raptor. 
we're gonna need those for being down in the caves anyway, so we kind of need to just get it done. And speaking of raptors, there's some back there on the hill. But overall, man, it's been a pretty good day. We didn't die again. <laughs> That's the main thing. Two days in a row, no deaths. However, we are gonna go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.